guys, welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches, or if you're new, welcome. Before I get into this week's lunches, I wanted to show you the supplies I'm gonna be using this week. This video is sponsored by Up Chefs, and these are two kits that they offer. This first kit is a great starter kit. So if you're just getting into packing bento lunches, this is the kit for you. You're going to get these little silicone molds. Uh, they're great for separating foods, adding color. You get those four uh, cutters for shaping your sandwiches. You're going to get all these different picks to add to your food, just a little extra decoration. And then these adorable little cutters that are perfect for cheese or fruits and vegetables. And these cards are great for your notes. I don't always show the notes I pack in Bella's lunches, but these ones come with a secret little film that you put over it. It's kind of like a lottery ticket where you scratch it off so she can scratch off to see the note that I left her. In this kit, you are getting the adorable decorations for your food, the little food picks. You get the note cards as well with your little secret messages in them. These adorable little miniature cutters that are slightly different than the other kit. So if you want to buy both, you will get a variation, a good variation of different cutters. And then all these sandwich cutters, holy smokes. There are a couple repeats that you get in the other box. You also get all those in this box as well. So I suggest gifting those away to another fellow mom who is struggling making her lunches herself. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you these different kits. And if you are looking for an inexpensive option of starting bento packing, pick one of these two up because it really just makes packing lunches so much easier when you have these adorable supplies to help you pack. All right, so let's just get right into packing Bella's lunch. I am going to pack her a pizza Lunchable. So I was trying to figure out which cutter I should use today. Actually, I think I'm gonna do this puzzle one because although it does not cut all the way to the edge, it's fine because, you know, puzzles have weird corners. And I think this is gonna work perfect. So let's just cut him out. Okay, I think I did it. There we go. Let's just make our puzzle in here. And this is two pieces then. When she gets to school, she can um, separate them is what she usually does. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Okay, so we have our little puzzle. This is all the scraps that are left behind. And again, I don't know if you guys do this when you are cutting your bread up or anything, but you can even keep these and dry them out and use them for breadcrumbs. They work great. So for her Lunchable, we are going to pack some homemade sauce. My brother made that, delicious. Some veggie straws. I have not packed these for her in a long time, so this is gonna be a big treat. Some cheese for her pizza. Maybe a few oranges will fit in here. Some black olives. and some pepperoni. There we go. And now I think we should use some of my new decorations. Which one should we use? This guy so she can pick up her pepperoni. He's cute. One of these for her olives is cute. Let's do this guy. That's cute. How about a elephant in her thing? <laughs> That's so cute. All right, so here is her lunch. If you want to see what she ate from this lunch, that video was posted yesterday. Feel free to go over there and check it out. For Bella's lunch today, I am going to make her a butterfly. I know these aren't Christmas lunches this week, but I just wanted to kind of show you the different things you could do with these things if you are possibly going to gift yourself this for Christmas. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so 
And I do have a Christmas lunch actually coming up, so don't worry. And then next week will be all Christmas lunches. Here is her sandwich. So we are doing peanut butter. And then we are going to cut out this butterfly. So here is our little butterfly. And I'm going to decorate her just a little bit. I did something before I started hitting record, you guys. I used the little turtle cutter and I cut out pickle turtles. And then I just took another pickle and I thirded it, you know, cut it into thirds. And so the turtles are like basking on their turtle rock. Seriously, so cute. I think it's gonna fit here, I'm not sure. I didn't test it. I should have tested it first. Oh, it does fit. Look at that. Okay, now I have a cutie. Some applesauce. And for fun, I'm going to give her some of these. These. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? And of course, Going with my green and blah theme here, evidently. Let's throw in some spinach. That's cute. I'm just sick of it being cold. Anybody else over the cold? Do you get the cold where you are? The cold. Is it cold where you are? I like this purple. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for spring. There. <laughs> There's her spring lunch. Snow, snow, go away. Don't come back. <laughs> Alright, you guys. There's her lunch. Oh, and here is her card I'm going to put in there today. I love you so much. So much, so much. So, you just take this little piece off of here and stick it right to here. Oh, try to stick it nicer than I just did. There we go. And then she can get that card in her lunch. <laughs> All right. All right, I kind of already started and I forgot to hit record. All I've done was slice three pieces of cheese. I'm just gonna take this cutter, I think it's a frog, and I'm going to cut out some frog heads. Okay, so since I am going to be using these silicone liners today, I am not going to put in the divider. So I think the square can fit there. Yes, yes, and yes. There we go. Oh yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna send her some Ritz crackers, some pepperoni, my adorable little frog cheese heads. Oh my gosh, they are so stinking cute. <laughs> so cute. As well as some ham. Down here, I'm just going to cut up some banana chunks. And then I'm going to do a handful of lettuce up here. Easy. I love how colorful this one looks. <laughs> okay, that's good. I need to calm down. Calm down, Amy. Calm down. All right, there's her lunch. For today's lunch, let's see. I have some little containers. 
I'm gonna put this one here, I think. And this one here. And I'm gonna use the cutters up here. I'm just kind of trying to lay it all out so I, I have a plan. I know what I'm doing. For in the little butterfly spot, I'm gonna put some Cheez-Its. There we go. In here, I'm going to put some applesauce, I think. I'm gonna just pour. I mean, wish me luck here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what am I putting in here? Oh, some more olives. Some fancy schmancy olives. All right, so these two spots, I'm going to do a sandwich, of course, in one of them. But let me move this out of the way. This is my favorite type of bread for cutting. It's Sara Lee. Like any of the Sara Lee breads, whatever's on sale, buy that. I think it's great. Yeah. Bella, are you going to want butter on your ham sandwich or no butter? No. No butter. I'm using this little doghouse doggy cutter. We'll see how well it works. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dad can't see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a dog. That is so cute. New dog house. Yeah, it is. That's so okay. So I think I am, because these bento boxes are so tiny, I'm just gonna cut it in half. Oh no. My doggy. My poor little doggy. And then the dog will just sit right on top. You won't even know I did that. I'm so smart. Okay, so for the apple, I'm just going to cut it into like a slice. Like a fat, flat slice is what I'm going for. Yep. Trying to not get the seeds. So, you want to get me the lemon juice? I put lemon juice on it so it does not burn. All right, and then I'm going to just cut out, get the seed off of here. I'm just gonna cut out some shapes. I got it cleaned up. I added a couple decorations, but here is the lunch. And this is actually the last lunch of the week. Um, I did not record yesterday's lunch. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, the links are going to be down below for these bento lunchbox sets. So just pick the one that you think is going to work best for you and go with it. Like I said, if you're just starting or if you're just trying to accumulate extra supplies, go with that first set because yes. it has those liners and the decorations and the cutters. It just kind of comes with everything. And Bella, tell me, what have you been thinking about your... Scratches? Yeah, your notes. I really like the how, um, like... How do doggers play? Yeah. Lettuce play. That was really funny. And those are so cool. But I think you can, like, have some money because they might, like, get stuck in my nails. Yeah, she says that she's kind of not liking scratching them with her nails. Whatever. <laughs> so, you have, like, picks and stuff. Just use one of their ears or something. Well, I'm not small enough to think of that. Okay. All right, you guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. If you want to know what she ate, of course, it's in yesterday's video. But have a great weekend, and we will see you later. Merry Christmas. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back, and now it's time for some special, special, special shout outs! Yeah! First one goes to Marina! Next up, it's time for kids! Thanks for commenting, Nancy! Hi, Chloe! Hey, Mrs. Cutters TV! Last but not least, Cindy! Thanks for watching, and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe! Bye!